Hello everybody. So I am here today with a 12 by 12 layout process using Tracy Reed's brand new Felicity collection. So this video is going to go up at 6 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, which is the exact moment that Felicity drops in Tracy Reed's store. So if you like what you see here, you can run over to her shop and grab it. These products are digital, so you would need a printer, but you don't need a 12 by 12 printer or a wide format printer. Uh, you can have loads of fun and plenty of options uh, with the Traveler's Notebook papers and the stickers. Just those two things and then you can mix and match with some cardstock from your stash. I am going to go ahead and choose some of the Traveler's Notebook papers, and I'm gonna set those out. I'm gonna use them on my 12 by 12 layout. I'm also going to use a bunch of the die cuts from the collection, and I am using a 12 by 12 paper. If you have a hybrid, if you have a wide format printer, then, by all means grab the 12 by 12 papers because these this line is absolutely stunning i think it is definitely quickly becoming one of my top five favorite collections from tracy it might even be um fighting with x galactic libris for number one it's just amazingly awesome okay let's talk about what i'm doing i cut a couple of strips of that stripey paper i'm going to use that on my layout i want to create a tag so i'm using another of the traveler's notebook papers trimming it down uh, to get a nice tag size because we're going to do a little bit of hidden I'm going to call it hidden journaling but what it really is is a note from my cookie dealer come on you know you have a cookie dealer I have a cookie dealer and I have a cute little photo of her and when I bought cookies she sent me this sweet little note so I am going to go ahead and scrapbook the note and the picture of her. I'm going to mat my photo in this beautiful plaid paper. And then I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to ink everything with Vintage Photo Distress Oxide Ink. So this Oxide Ink looks so pretty with this collection. It's a really, really nice addition and really complimentary. So as you can see here, I am not using 12 by 12 paper. I'm using the Traveler's Notebook papers and I'm just going to line the colors up to create a 12 inch border. I'm doing this on purpose because I know that while I have a wide format printer, not everybody has a wide format printer. And so I wanna show you how you can use these beautiful products and um, print them at home on a regular size printer and still get really nice products to use on 12 by 12 layouts while i'm using a pattern paper from the collection you could certainly use cream cardstock craft cardstock or pick a color there are so many beautiful colors in this collection and you could just have a cardstock background and then everything else that i'm using prints on a standard size regular printer so my idea is that I am going to go ahead and create this tag that you can pull out. So I'm using my matted photo as a guide of how I want to kind of have this tag. I had to trim it down a little bit and I just kept trimming. I made sure I had the angles right for the tap for the top of the tag part, but then I just kept trimming at it so that it would fit real nice and easy and you could pull it in and out from behind the photo. So there is the little thank you card. I inked it up. I'm gonna put it right on that tag and then I'm gonna ink the tag that I made and put a little bit of hemp twine in the hole. Once I have that tag and my photo so that they will fit well that I can put the tag behind the photo, I am gonna go ahead and start 
pulling together all the circles. There are a ton of really, really cute circle embellishments on this layout, on this, in this collection. And you know what? Cookies are circles. So that's what we're going with. So I'm going ahead, I'm going to ink up all these circles. I'm going to have them kind of cascading down the left side of my page. And just as an aside, this is one pack of die cuts, one print of the stickers. You could print them however many times you want, but that whole huge pile of embellishments right there, that is only one set printed. So you're getting tons of them. The photo and the tag are going to kind of overlap the circles on the left side. Uh, so once I kind of had them in place, I'm going to go ahead and work a little bit on the right side. My idea for the right side is that I am going to use one of these uh, kind of framed rectangles as a landing spot. And I'm going to use some of the little free stickers that are in the collection to kind of stack up some um, phrases here. I don't really need... Um, journaling but you could certainly take this design and then add your journaling there on the right side so I've chosen where I want my photo to go and I know that I'm going to cover up some of those circles so what I'm doing is I'm kind of just auditioning it and then I'm going to pull up the circles and move them that'll make the border look a little bit fuller and then I'm not covering up things that don't need to be covered up so I'm going to go ahead and create my pocket. Now I'm just going to add a little bit of tape runner to the very edges of my photo, put it down, and then I can slip the tag in and out from behind the photo. Once that is in place, all I have left to do is to go ahead and adhere the clusters to the right side. And I'm going to die cut my title or part of my title from some metal dies in my coat stash and that lovely green paper that you can see up in the upper left hand corner. I had a number of titles in mind for this layout but when I was going through the ephemera I found this there's a bunch of words there's some really cute words like there's happy there's today but one of the words is joy and when I saw that joy I went oh, I can die cut the word cookie and my title will be cookie joy so that is the title we're gonna go with. I'm going to go ahead and look through all this ephemera one more time so I can choose a couple little accent pieces, mostly uh, some of the flowers in this collection. I felt like flowers would be perfect because the photo I'm scrapbooking was taken outside. Once I have all of those little um, flowers and leaves and really have the layout filled up and embellish the way I'd like. I'm going to add, you guessed it, sequins. Uh, uh, the succulent sass sequins from Speak of Mom Scraps are the perfect, perfect match for these. This line, it is so adorable. It looks, they look so, so good together. I use them on both of the layouts that I'm going to use this collection with. So run, go get this line. The nice thing though about hybrid and digital and printable collections is that they're not gonna sell out. I mean, but Tracy usually puts them on sale the weekend of the release. So if you get, uh, if you head over to the shop, you will find the release and you will find that they are probably on sale. She's never done a release and not put it on sale opening weekend. So definitely go ahead and grab this collection and I will be back with another 12 by 12 layout on Sunday for part of the Felicity team hop. Here are all of the close-ups. Thank you so much for joining me today. I hope you have a wonderful, wonderful weekend and I will talk to you all again very soon. Bye.